Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit and I'm here with Scott. He's one of our teardown engineers and he was lucky enough to take apart the new MacBook Pro 13 inch with the touch bar and touch ID. Tell us a little bit about that. Hi Gwen. Hey. Yeah, it was, a, it was a fun day. We uh, got to tear apart this new machine. The first thing that we were kind of excited about was the touch bar. Mm -hmm. We also had um, the cool addition of the touch ID that's supposedly linked to the T1 chip on the logic board. Uh, we were expecting to find a computer that was similar to the other 13 inch with the function keys, but once we cracked into this thing, completely different. Wow. Tell us a little bit about what the Touch ID does, just in case someone doesn't know. So Touch ID is not necessarily a new technology. We've uh, seen it on iPhones since the 5S. It essentially is a security feature that looks at someone's fingerprint and is able to let you into your machine quicker. So it's a cool security feature that is now featured on the MacBook Pros, which is exciting. There's gonna be some Apple Pay functionality with Great. that as well, which okay. uh, we're excited to see more of. Okay, and brand new technology, the Touch Bar. The touch bar, the touch <laughs> bar is, yeah, it's exciting. What it essentially is, is think of just a touch screen that we're seeing on other tablets or other computers, but it's shrunk down and added onto the keyboard to expand keyboard functionality. So it's extending what you can do in apps, but it's also customizable. Yeah, and right. that's the idea is instead of only having a set of function keys, you can have whatever key you want. And so, I mean, emojis or, <laughs> you know, just something quick to yeah. make your life easier. So we here at iFixit, of course, care most about repairability. Um, so what was it like to get to the touch bar and the touch ID? Um, what did you have to take off first and how easy was it? <laughs> it was extremely difficult. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this MacBook Pro scored a 1 out of 10 on a repairability Ooh. scale, meaning that it is very difficult to work on. So to start, well, the Touch ID was a little bit easier to get to than the Touch Bar for new features that are exciting, but we still needed to take off the logic board. and. With that comes a lot of screws and a lot of effort. Right. Uh, other other big things that also need to be said about this computer is that a lot of features that people like, such as removable SSD, uh, is no longer the case. It doesn't exist on here. The this SSD is soldered onto the logic board. Uh, to get to the touch bar, it was like the Touch ID, the logic board had to come out, but then we also needed to apply a lot of heat and start to use some prying. So trying to get to it, we uh, pried off the glass digitizer and started to chip the OLED. So it was not a successful yes. removal. So it was extremely difficult to get to, but once we got it off, what did we find out about this new technology? Okay, so starting with the Touch ID because that's what we found first in our teardown. It's still pretty familiar to what we've seen in the 5S in that it's got what we're thinking is maybe like a sapphire crystal cover which is not gonna scratch, which would render Touch ID uh, useless. Um, on the flip side, there is a mechanical button um, that if you, you can see here, that if, uh, if you're ready to start your laptop, it's gonna be a familiar feeling that you're used to using with any other power button. And then the other interesting thing about this uh, Touch ID is that it's, um, been said to connect to the T1 chip on the logic board, which okay. is new to this machine, and it is right here. So yeah, and here we have the T1, uh, or what we are supposing is the T1 chip, which is a pretty interesting uh, little chip here. There's a lot of rumors kind of circulating around what it does. Uh, there's a rumor that it's like a system on a chip and that it can actually has its own kind of processing power that'll stand independent of Mac OS. So it's, yeah, but we can't really confirm that. Uh, looking at the touch bar, so we pull off the uh, glass digitizer panel. There are several chips just by the nature of the technology it needs to have. And then there's also a chip on the OLED on the oh, laptop, wow. which okay. also is gonna be uh, used to kind of help process that data that's coming to and from touch bar. Uh, and then one of the questions that we're kind of wondering is, you know, is how is touch bar controlled on the logic board? How does it communicate with the logic board? Uh, there's rumors that it stands alone or, and so it's, it's kind of an interesting, interesting. thing. Yes, yeah, it's hard for us to say with the teardown though. I'm so amazed at some of these differences that we've seen from the 13 inch that we tore down last week. They're brand new technologies, but they're completely different. That's awesome. And uh, we should be seeing the 15 inch. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, yeah, I get a chance to compare that and see how it fits into the family. Great, and there may be something different in there, so be sure to check out this teardown and that one coming soon at ifixit.com.